I still don't think it's right for you to see her like this because the past few days have been tough for her. Well, like I said before, Doctor, you have every right to trust me. Believe me, I don't want to have. I just need us to talk. Okay, if you say so, I'll take you for your word. Follow me. Okay. Why are you here? Sandra, I need us to talk. And nothing else. What's there to talk about? Everything. There's a lot to talk about. I need to know everything. What do you want to know that you do not already know about? I cheated on you. Cheated on your brother. Ruined your life. What more? The truth. I just said it. Listen, Cassandra. I need to know your own side of the story. Over time, I have judged based on a one sided story. No. No. I am ready to hear you out. What difference does it make? I still want to hear it. Everything. It's true that I cheated on you. Shamelessly. With your brother. It's also true that I hurt you beyond reasonable doubt. But the truth is, I was scared. I didn't want to end up like my mother. I wanted something different. Something stable. Then Frank came along. He seemed like a formidable force. And he knew how to push. Charles, you remember four years ago when I was preparing for my degree exams and my school fees were unpaid. You didn't have the money and there was no way the invigilators would let me into the exam hall without presenting my school fees receipt. I got so desperate. 
I had to do the needful. What did you do? That was when I met Frank. Oh, it's a seasonal food. I think I prefer it with coconut. Would you like to eat it with coconut or with pear? Mm, probably coconut, Dad. Coconut? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I wish she, she'd just be, um, you know, oh. jiffy. In a jiffy, she will bring a die. Oh, she's here. Oh, uh -huh. aha. Good. Coconut. Yeah. Uh, that's it. <laughs> coconut. Take a bite. Okay. Take a bite of it. Mm. Good. <laughs> Oh, he's here, Dad. Hmm. Sure. Wait. I think he needs to join us too. Mm -hmm. He needs to join us. Mm. <laughs> oh. oh, that's good. He's here. Mm -hmm. Ah. He will have to join with us. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yes. <laughs> You're welcome, bro. I'm just about to call you. Yeah. What, what, what? Hey, hey, hey! Stop that! Stop that, Charles! You idiot! Charles! What's the matter with you? Wait, hey, hey! Stop that! Stop that madness! What do you want to do? No, 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 no! What, what's, what's, what's the meaning of this? Have you completely lost it? I have lost it, Dad! I have lost it! What? Because this bastard here does not deserve to see the light of the next day. You're a mad dog. What's this all about? Wait. Is this a pent-up anger of, of years ago? Of course it is. Yes, because you lied. You lied about everything. Oh, I should have known. Because you've been a lying freaking bastard all your life. And you did it with Cassandra. Oh. Frank. This is about the bitch. This is about the whore? Are you freaking out of your mind? Is this about the girl who ruined this family? You ruined this family, not her. You did. Because you convinced her. You made her believe you had everything to take care of her. You made her question her decision of being with me. I see that wasn't enough. You took her away from me what? on the night of our wedding. Our wedding night, Frank! And you left her in that godforsaken city to the brutality of those your, those your rascals you call friends. Oh my God. Of course I found. Is it true? I mean, is his analogy the truth? Dad, do you seriously believe the nonsense coming out of his mouth? How can you even think that I could do such a thing? Of course you did. I believe her. I believe everything she said. Because you are the one little idiot. And she was a victim of your brutality. Enough, Charles! I seriously can't believe that you're standing up for that witch of a girl. Have you been suddenly bewitched by her? If your brother said he didn't do it, he did it! And I trust him! Well, how could you say that like that? Tell me, how could you say that like that? Because I can. Because he's my son. I would defend and protect him anytime, anywhere. And you stop letting that girl get into your head and get rid of her from your company. I am shocked, mother. I am flabbergasted that this is coming from you. Yes, you hate her. I get it. But that doesn't stop you from, from, from seeing this naked truth staring you in the face, mother. 
Frank. Frank gave her up as a settlement of his debt. He knows it. I thought they said that once beaten twice shy. But it seems that you haven't lacked anything. She's using you again like she used you before. Open your eyes, brother. My eyes are open. My eyes are open to see you for the demented bastard that you are. That's you are idiot. You know nothing. No, I swear it. That you never gave her up for your sickening gambling addiction. She was pregnant for you. She had your child. She was going to tell you the good news. Though she dreaded you would ask her to do the usual. Still, she was happy. What happened? When she got home, you weren't there. Only for her to, to, to see the, the, the stupid note you dropped for her saying it was nice having her. She lost that child. I thought your stupid friends had their tongues in her. Now, brother, tell me who is the bigger victim here? Say it. I knew it. I perceived there's something more to what the eyes could see about her. But never in my wildest imagination could I have ever imagined she went through all this. <sighs> Frank, your brother is an idiot. I wasn't going to believe. said something about gambling. I remembered I gave my father a huge amount of money to clear Frank's debts. Just then I realized she wasn't faking anything. And how he managed to lie through this so swiftly and made everyone hated her, not knowing she's the biggest victim. She must have been through a lot, I mean. How was she able to live with this? I just can't imagine this. See what doesn't kill a man makes him strong. That's what I see in her. She was there. But a lot has changed about her. She's too withdrawn. She's no longer the woman I used to know. The woman I saw that very day. Right. I am scared. I am scared that she might do something else to hold herself. Come on, Charles. Let's stay positive and believe. And hope she doesn't do more to hurt herself than she already did. I have been meaning for us to talk. Sandra, I think you you need to see a therapist. A therapist? Yes. It's going to be the best thing for you right now. You see, you've been able to live through your pain. Picking yourself up, getting a job. But I think it's high time you have to face it. 
honestly you haven't dealt with this pain and trauma the way you should. Yes. I do not need therapy. You need it. Believe me, you need it. I am going to tell you something. I say it was therapy that helped me after you left. You know, I had so many questions going through my head why you should leave and all that. I turned to drinking. I smoked, hurt myself a lot. But then I met Dr. Jonas. He was my therapist. He helped me. He talked me through the pain. And there I met my wonderful friend, his son, Tony. Is that how Demma and Tony met? Through you? No. I really, I really don't have a part in the union. I think they met on social media. I didn't get to know the identity of the woman he was getting married to when I got back. It's high time you forgive yourself because you haven't really forgiven yourself and until you do it, you won't be well. Just put yourself together, I know you can do this, okay? Cassandra, truly I do not know what to say. No words. I have nothing. You may have hurt my son Charles when you took off with Frank instead. But what he put you through, no person should ever have to go through that. Please, I want you to understand that I'm not in a position to lecture you on how to run your body, but what I'm asking for is that you should forgive Frank. Charles. Cassandra. I do not know what to say or how to even go about it. I never knew the extent of the damage 
that I caused you. Until that word rang over and over in my head. That you were pregnant. Then you lost the baby because of me. I am a fool. I am a bastard. I am a big idiot. I am all of that. And I do not deserve your forgiveness. But please, please forgive me. Please. Cassandra, I told Charles to bring you here today <clears throat> so that as a family we can apologize to you. But before then, just give me a minute. Cassandra, ever since you came into this family, you have caused us so much pains and agony. And I want you to leave my family in peace. This is a divorce paper you did not sign then. I want you to sign it now. Please! Please, allow me to handle this. Cassandra, I have forgiven you for everything you did. But please, sign this divorce paper and leave my family in peace. I am tired of seeing my sons fighting every day because of you. Sign this paper and leave my family in peace. Please. I want my family to be in peace. Stand just there with me. Come on in. Cassandra, between us has been a tortuous and terrific journey. A past best forgotten. Charles, this. There's no point laying wreaths over yesterday's crimes. Like your mother rightly pointed out, my exit is the avenue for peace to reign in your life. Sandra, I have grown and you have grown too. We're no longer the people we used to be three years ago. I am now a man. I live my life for no one.
I am over everything that happened. <laughs> but one be that truth is, I still care for you. I still have feelings for you. I still love you. I still want you. I am thinking we... we can put behind us everything that happened and see if we can make it work out. That's... that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Sincerely, you can't be saying that after all that has happened. But I get it. He'll be a gentleman. The loving man I once loved and married. But hey, there's so much water under the bridge. I do not hold the past against you. Yet the past cannot be ignored. I am grateful though. Finally you've been able to forgive me for all I did to you. Charles, you will agree with me that it's in the best of our interests to end this here and now.
this hearts and memories of